Hey everybody, it's here, it's Ice Bigley, and I wanted to bring to you probably one of the easiest Funko Pop customs anybody could do. Let's get started here. Alrighty, here we have the Gertrude Eldridge Pop figure from the Ghostbusters 2016 movie, as you can tell. Uh, here's a picture of it from the movie. Now, as you can tell, there's a blue aura around it. Uh, however, the the pop is gray for some reason. Let's take it out of here, get a better look at this. Boop. And there we go. So, now, I'm assuming maybe they made it gray in, uh, maybe this was originally supposed to be the gray lady from the first original Ghostbusters movie? Who knows? But, I mean, because the outfit's not really the same sculpt-wise, but whatever. Uh, this is the Gertrude Eldridge figure. So, here is my custom movie-accurate version of the Gertrude Eldridge pop. Now, let me tell you about the process I was originally going to do with this. I was originally going to do a bunch of washes and all this other stuff and dry brushings and different colors of blue and whatnot, but you know what? I didn't need any of that. And let me explain why. Okay. Um, you may not be aware, I, I collect uh, these little trinkety uh, zipper pulls, Dragon Ball, this is uh, Super Saiyan Vegeta. Um, and those, if you've collected those before, you know that they come in these kind of uh, Dragon Ball capsules. I do have all seven, by the way. Uh, so, and I thought, you know what? These don't really look good. They don't look like they do on the show. So I decided to fix that. And so that's, uh, that's the way that they look. After I painted them, now the, the specific spray paint that I got is the same type that I used for old Gertrude Eldridge here. Was this cr nice Krylon stained glass uh, paint? They make several different colors. Obviously, they have an orange that I use for the Dragon Balls there, and this blue that I used on Gertrude here. Now, the only thing that I didn't do on this that I would have liked to is. This little drool line here is to have that be a, a sort of a glossy, goopy looking green uh, as to mimic that one scene where she basically uh, ectoplasms, uh, was it Aaron, you know, in that episode, and then, and then or in the beginning of the movie. So I did this, uh, this particular, I mean, no, just have a look. And this is, uh, let's see if I can get this to actually focus properly. Are we going to focus? Because my camera sucks. I guess it's pretty good. Um, let me see. It's, it's not bad. You can see a bit of spotting happened uh, on the left, on the right side, rather, of the figure. Um... And there's some bits in the uh, in the midriff there that I didn't get painted too well, as well as the back isn't as uh, covered as the front is. Uh, so there's a little bit of uneven painting, but overall, I love how this came out. Uh, I think I did, uh, was it one, two, maybe three or four coats uh, using this. Uh, you can do more or less depending on you know your particular liking what I would suggest however is uh, get some clear coat get clear gloss coat the reason why I say gloss is because it'll be shiny and it'll kind of add that ethereal kind of glow to it versus you know just the plain matte uh, the only thing really glossy is the eyes on here the white on the eyes um, I did want this to glow in the dark if there was a way I could do it believe me it would happen so yeah, where can you pick this up? Um, Ace Hardware, as you saw, my, my, my unintentional product placement. Uh, but this specific one, the orange one I got from Ace, 
Um, basically, I would say any hardware store. Um, if you know, I, I, this one I particularly bought at Join Fabrics. Um, you know, I'm sure any any hardware store, any fabric, uh, not fabric place, but like, you know, um, like Michael's or, you know, Craft Center, kind of stuff like that. I'm sure that they're going to have it. Now, um, while I was working on this, I, did, I was doing another custom, one I'm not entirely uh, proud of how it came out, but let me show you. Uh, what that one is, this one took a little bit more work. I'm sure those of you who are more experienced can do it a lot better than I can. So, one moment. Okay, this is the Voltron Pop, which, uh, a note to uh, the phone call, even though I know you've discontinued the 6-inch line, I'm still kind of confused why this wasn't a 6-inch one, yet the uh, there's going to be a classic Megazord release in that size. It just doesn't make sense to me. Whatever. Um, <laughs> so, this is the original one. This is... For posterity, this is the metallic one. Yes, I have this, and I'm quite happy about it. Uh, the Voltron, you know, I grew up watching Voltron. I had to have this one. So anyway, uh, which, by the way, the mouth is supposed to be silver. Uh, on Should be silver on a regular one, but whatever. And here is my custom patina uh, Voltron. Now, as I said, I don't exactly like how this came out. Mainly... Uh, what I tried to do is something that they usually don't do with the patina ones is that I tried to make the original colors visible. Obviously, they're muted because of the colors I put on it, but um, and then bottoms of the feet are not painted. But, you know, so it, 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 I don't think it really came out too well, um, my personal opinion of it. Now here's an here's an image that I'm going to show you right now, um, of it before I put the patina uh, green on it, where I, I tried to do battle damage to it, a little bit of rust, a little bit of uh, paint, you know, uh, wearing away with the silver. I honest, I think that looked a heck of a lot better. I did that to add a little more depth to this version, um, you know, to have the rust to have, I think it was a metallic bronze that I had to be, to be the rust. Um, I mean, you can, you can kind of see some of that through here, uh, and some of the white bits and you can kind of, you know, you can kind of see like the, the, that rust there. Um, I know that what they do, what, um, what Funko actually does is they basically, I guess, do like a base of, uh, bronze or copper and then sort of I don't know if it's like a wash slash dry brush of the patina on top of that um, and they wipe it away so and I had so I had a lot of people give me grief over this because they apparently they didn't they didn't think it came out good um, they were giving me grief I think mainly because of the other video I made about the the scumbag on uh, on eBay and they were basically, I guess, sticking up for the guy. I don't know. Um, so I, that kind of became a litmus test. However, I digress. Anyway, um, so yeah, I, I think I if if I do find another one of these guys, uh, the regular one, obviously I'm not going to do it to this, but if I do find another Voltron figure, I'm going to try to at least do the, the battle damage one um, and just leave it as that. Um, I, I tried. I tried to do it. And, um, you know, I, I don't think it came out too bad. But I don't know. Get, let me know what you think. Um, so over the course of you know the past week or so, I did these two. I I, um, I showed them off. You know at work. Uh, I work at a toy store, and there's a couple of people there who who collect these. So I you know I kind of showed them off. Um, and I also put the uh, let me see if I can find it. Uh, I put my uh, the little sticker that I get out of the way that I put um, the Axe Peggy exclusive. I did that on the boxes. Um, just so I can tell which, you know, box actually belonged with what figure. So, uh, yeah, you know, if this is, uh, like I said, th this, this took a little bit more time, obviously, but the, uh, the Gertrude Eltridge, um, here, let's do this, make it a little more dynamic here. Um, oop, there we go. So Gertrude Eltridge definitely is going to be the easiest one that you can do. And I highly suggest, you know, if you want a more movie, 
night. Very top heavy, these things. Uh, if you want a more movie accurate uh, version of this figure, by all means, um, the, the Krylon spray paint is eight and nine dollars, depending on where you find it. Uh, the the gloss uh, clear coat is about the same amount. I, uh, I don't know if I mentioned it earlier, but the reason why I heavily suggest a clear coat is because once I put the, the, the blue on here, it was very, even after it dried, it was still kind of tacky feeling. And once I put the clear coat and that dried, that fixed it right up. Um, obviously, you know, at a distance, it looks fine. When you get kind of close up on it, you can see like the little spots and whatnot. And my camera's not focusing, so it doesn't really matter right now. So... I don't know. Give me your opinions. Uh, if you try this uh, yourself, or if you try this and do it better than me, uh, let me know in the comments. And uh, I would love to see images of that. Shoot me, you know, a message on Instagram. I am uh, at ox underscore bigly on Instagram. And uh, I I posted these pictures over there. Got a lot of uh, a lot of positivity on both of them. So, uh, yeah, so let me know what you think. Let me know if you do one, and I will see you in the next video, whatever that may be. Thank you for watching.